So hey guys, I'm back with another video, unless you couldn't tell, uh, this is not a dream. Um, yes, so I decided to do a February favourites. Um, I know it's a bit late, but better late than never, right? I don't know what is going on with my hair today. I made this happen, this hair magic. I don't know how I did it. Side quiff so in fashion <laughs> oh gosh i didn't actually think that i had any favorites this month nothing you know straight away came to my mind that i was like yes that's in the favorites but then when i actually thought about it i have a shit ton of favorites um i have so many so i just kind of picked a few um of my favorites i didn't pick them all just because this video would be in like an hour long so, the first I'll start with the things that I can't actually physically hold in my hands, um, and that is Pinterest. Now, I know you've all probably heard of Pinterest, and it's so last week already with the hype, but I'm still loving it. Um, I've been literally scrolling through on my phone and on the laptop, like, every day, all day, for the last three weeks or something like that um yeah i just really really love it um i need to sort my boards out because i'm just kind of like i more like things than i do repin them just because i'm lazy and i'm just like like that like that like that instead of repinning once i sorted my boards out i will put a link um you know on my main page and in my description bars to my pinterest so you can follow me because that is not creepy at all. Second thing is Audible. Um, some of you may have heard of Audible, some of you may not, but basically it's audiobooks on your phone or your laptop or your Kindle or your iPad. Um, I think Android phones have an app for it as well. Um, but yeah, I've known about this for a long time now, probably nearly two years or something like that. Uh, and I've always loved it, but I just thought it was about time that I shared it with you. Um, yes, it's not free. Um, you can get one free audiobook when you first sign up. Um, so you do get one free, but then if you want more, you can either buy them for money, you know, one by one, or you can get a subscription service where you pay... Um, you know a set amount per month or per year or something like that and you get credits and each audiobook is one credit I get 12 credits a year with the subscription package that I'm on and I definitely use them all up because I love audiobooks I love books in general and I do really enjoy you know the feel of a book and reading a book but I don't always get time and I find it difficult to read at night because it'll keep my brain away I just put my audiobook on at night either with headphones in or just playing out loud and yeah it's just great um, because there's not enough time in the world to read all the books that I want to read but there is to listen to them so definitely go check out Audible the links will be below So that's what it looked like, um, basically, you know, you download it on your laptop and then it goes straight to your phone, which is really handy. I have all kinds of books on here, I have The Hunger Games, uh, I have all the Twilight books, I have um, Fall of Giants, I have Lord of the Flies, which I'm listening to at the moment. Um, but my two favourite books that I just repeatedly listen to all the time, constantly, are Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. Um, amazing book, changed my life, definitely check it out. Um, and Life of Pi by Jan Martel, which yes, has been made into a movie, but I was reading and listening to the book years ago, I absolutely love it, amazing. All the books are read out by a human voice, you know, by a person, a real living, I presume they're still living, some of them may have died, I don't know. 
this has taken a sinister turn. Just great website, go and check it out. Um, love it. My next favourites are actually websites, and I'll just run through these really quickly. You've probably heard of them, but I'm just really loving them at the moment, and I've been obsessively uh, on them all the time. They are Plunder, Karma Loop, and Nasty Gal. Um, they're all American, and they're really, really cool websites, really cool style, exactly my style. I want everything off all of their websites love them so much i've ordered a few things from each website and i cannot wait to get them they should be here quite soon they are from america so it takes a while but i'm so excited love everything on there and i will be getting a lot of things for a holiday which is coming up um soon ish which i will reveal more about soon but for now i'm going to be mysterious and aloof that's the word, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, next favourite is this magical piece of loveliness. Um, it's the MUA Pro Brow Palette. Um, and it's actually the first kind of eyebrow palette I've ever used, um, which is why I bought it, because it was cheap. And I just thought, if I don't like it, it's not like I've spent loads of money on a really expensive um, eyebrow kit. Um, and yeah, i got to say, I absolutely love using um, an eyebrow kit and um, a brush to sort my eyebrow area out because it really does need sorting out i have the world's worst eyebrows they just do my head in all the time was that a pun eyebrows do my head in i don't know that may be a pun there take it or leave it so yes there it was um I use the darkest one, um, obviously because I have dark hair, but they have a lighter one, they have a highlighter, which I actually haven't tried yet, so I can't really comment on that, um, but it looks quite nice, it's quite dark, um, it's more skin coloured rather than lightening, um, so I think it's more to kind of maybe touch up any mistakes or if you want a really defined look then this highlight would be good because like I said it's skin coloured not like luminous or anything um, and then they also have a little eyebrow gel um, which I can't say is fantastic because it's really not um, it's quite oily and it doesn't really like dry or set it just kind of stays looking like you have greasy eyebrows which I don't think anybody wants that look really you do get a little brush with it but the brush is really rubbishy as well to be honest it's really really thick and chunky and I just think it goes everywhere when I try and use that brush and it's really hard to hold because it's like this big um, it also comes with some tweezers which again I'm not a huge fan of um, so it doesn't really sound like this should be in my favourites but it is because I use it every day and I love it. I love the concept of this more than the actual product. I mean I love eyebrow palettes and I love you know drawing on my eyebrows with a little brush and a palette rather than an eyebrow pencil um, is what I'm trying to get at here but yes there you go. Next favourite is this bourgeois um, blusher and it's the little round pot blushes and it's in rose mandarin. I absolutely love this, I've been using it every single day. I have quite a few blushes um, but I've been using this and this alone every day and I bloody love it so much. Um, it's just really subtle and really nice, I think it really complements my pale skin tone. The colour payoff on this isn't fantastic in the sense that you can't just kind of wipe your brush over, wipe it on and you're done. It does take a while to build up the colour, you have to kind of rub your brush in, apply it, rub your brush in, apply it a few times before you get your desired colour strength I think. Um, but 
yeah once you get that color it is beautiful it's really subtle and i think this one is great if you're kind of new to blusher or you're not very confident with blusher or you go a bit ott often with blusher because like i said it does take a while to get the color but that means at the same time it's very blendable and it's very buildable and you can really personalize it to what you want um I absolutely adore the packaging as well it's got a little mirror in here and then in, it's in a little round shape um, and yeah I just absolutely love it so much I think it's so cute it has a little magnet um, and the magnet is very strong so it never comes open and I've dropped this a lot of times like full-on almost thrown it on the floor on laminate flooring many times and it is not broken nothing so yeah it just feels really sturdy and it's really light and it's really easy to travel with i've had this a good few months now and it has barely gone down at all it barely looks like i've used it but boy have i used it um yeah love it next favorite um it, it looked like i was about to hit you with that then like wow <clears throat> Yes, so my next favourite is this palette. Um, I think I've mentioned it maybe in a previous video, maybe not, I don't know. Don't quote me on that, I've slept since then. Um, but I've definitely mentioned it to somebody or something, I don't know. But I just really love this, I absolutely love it. Um, if, if I was going uh, on holiday or something and I only had to take one, I think this would be it because it has almost every colour um, that you could want in here and it's really small and compact and it's really pretty as well. It's, you know, it's not an ugly palette which you sometimes get. Um, it's kind of soft and squishy so it feels well protected. It's from the Superdrug Famous range and I know that they are not tested on animals. You know, they're quite eco and they're, yeah, animal friendly which is awesome which i love but it opens like this Hwa! ninja moves there um it has a mirror up here and then it has um two little brushes so i've used this palette like every single day not even joking 99.9% .9 of the last two months my eye makeup has been with this because I just love it and it's so good quality in my opinion. The only thing that I don't like about this palette is this um, and I get why it's there and I think it's good but also it's annoying at the same time. Um, it's this kind of plastic um, with cardboard in it and it says like about the palette and you know stuff like that it just gives you a little bit of info on the palette and then it's got all the colors and their names here um, but I guess the point of it is to protect the um, the colors from getting all over the inside and all over the mirror but yeah it doesn't like sometimes it doesn't stay open like this and it closes all the time so when you're trying to do your makeup it's like flapping around and you're like ah too much I'm actually wearing um, these colours here on my eyes right now um, and yeah I just love it so much. Next one is really really quick it's just the Collection 2000 Last Imperfection 16 hour concealer um, everyone is harping on about this and I absolutely love it I got it for the first time um, a couple of weeks ago falling in love with it absolutely a must buy for anyone i can't see how someone wouldn't like this it's just perfect it is so so covering and flattering and it really brightens up your whole eye area i actually use it um as a little bit of a primer on my eyelids as well because i get really really red eyelids um i really get red all over my face to be honest i have quite um, red skin so this works great on my eyelids on my spots and just a light smattering on my rosy cheeks I mean serious rosiness going on 
on my face. This is the lightest shade that I use, obviously, because I'm whiter than a corpse. But yeah, I just love this. Oh. Next is this exfoliator, um, and this is actually a sample size. I got it in, I think it was January's glossy box, maybe December's. I don't remember. I've slept since then. Um, it's by Monu or Monu, M O N U, um, professional skincare micro exfoliant. Um, yes, it's really, really lovely. You know, the little tiny beads in it are very, very, very fine, finer than sand, even. They feel like they just feel so, so fine and they don't kind of dissipate or disappear or melt away or anything. They stay on your face so you can really give it a good old scrubbing. Um, and yeah, I use this at night. Um, I take my makeup off and then I'll put a little bit of this on, you know, my spotty areas where I've got real bad spots. And it just works really well and it just feels really, really, really good on your skin. But it's got um, a kind of a citrusy scent but also a little grassy as well which is really kind of refreshing and it's quite um, calming for me now because I use it at night so I'm normally tired and um, it's quite relaxing when I'm like exfoliating so whenever I smell this it makes me kind of sleepy um, or maybe it's got some kind of drugs in it and it's making me a little bit high but either way I like it Last but certainly not least is this makeup remover um, cleansing stuff. This is by DHC, um, which I'm not really familiar with that company, or maybe I am and I'm just losing my mind tonight. I actually got this at the Royal Television Society Awards, um, which I won an award at for my documentaries, but we all got a little you know gift basket goodie basket and this was one of the things and I just straight away took a dislike to it and I was like I am not putting that on my face it looks gross and um, I was really judging a bottle by its cover um, and yeah I, I think I threw away or gave away like three or four of these bottles and now I'm so gutted that I did because I absolutely love it um, and I just tried it one day I think because I was bored or whatever and I absolutely love it it is so awesome even though I know this is really good for my skin and even though I know that I love it um, every time I go to apply it I'm like oh no can't do it because it's full-on like oil it looks like cooking oil or extra virgin olive oil or something like that um and yeah it feels like that as well when you first put it on but as soon as it's on your skin um it feels awesome ish it still feels kind of gross i don't know the whole experience for me is kind of gross because i'm like why am i rubbing oil on my face no mustn't do it but um yeah once you get over that it is awesome it just instantly takes your makeup off you literally just need one or two squirts on your hand slap it on your face um wait a couple of seconds wipe it off with a wipe boom bob's your uncle done finished your skin feels so soft afterwards um it yeah it leaves your skin feeling really lovely and nice yeah and i'm all about quick makeup removal because i hate taking my makeup off with a passion so that is everything for my monthly favorites thanks for watching guys and if you want more of me and my face then go check out the links below to lovely things like Facebook, Twitter, all that creepy stuff. Go follow me. Bye! Sort myself out so I look respectable for YouTube. Because YouTube's a very respectable place. Like audio webs... <laughs> Um, ew, that's so gross. Why is that all dirty? 
I don't know what this was. Hand movements not happening today. Be cool and good and just rave about it. Um, oh fuck. I can't do it. Just do it. Come on. Love it and. Uh, uh, oh, uh.